Hey, good evening everybody, my opponent for this game will be Methodius with 286 games and 155 wins. And hello again and welcome to Metallopolis. Uh, I am Logris as usual, spawning at Blue Zerg in the 3 o'clock position. And at the 12 o'clock position we have Methodius spawning at the Red Terran. And as you can see we are close air, I'm going with my Overlord directly to be able to scout, see wh where he is. And I'm actually go starting to favor going um, port in pool, uh, port in uh, gas port in pool uh, in all matchups to be that way nobody can mess us with my expansion. Uh, Protoss uh, and uh, even Terrans try to block this as long as possible and it's really annoying. Uh, but there is no way for them to mess with my Oh, let's search scout because I want to see it. but then I see he's here and uh, yeah he scouts to see my overlord perfect timing on that and I write skull which means cheers and I thought he deserved that uh, where was I? yeah the, this uh, expansion if I go like 15 hatch he will be able to block it uh, with an engineering bay pylon or a worker or anything it's really really annoying so I decide to not favor that instead of going for the gas, going for the spawning pool later. And what's going on in the Terran land? He is getting barracks. As all Terrans do, is getting his workers. And my drone is coming, looking cute. My micro is terrible. If I look at my magic m APM, but well, I'm <laughs> not the slowest one. And this is really annoying. He's actually blocking me already uh, with his second barracks. Of course, I see the second barracks and I know. Uh, well, I think I know um, what I'm to. Uh, I'm expecting a two barracks push. And um, in this situation, I cannot skip to gear up to be able to be defending against this. And as you can see, he is not doing more than he needs to. And uh, probably I am, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. And of course, this is not false play, play by any means. It's just false compared to him. Uh, there we go, production. It's also nice. He's getting his uh, two gases. He's getting uh, his uh, orbital command. He's getting some even more gas there. So we got two. I'm getting a set of circlings. Getting a banelings nest because I am preparing for a marine push. And I want to be able to fend that off in a proper way. And how will I try to handle this. Of course I'm sending up a scout to be able to scout the front to see what's going on. And I'm having my overlord here as you can see in position to fly in and do a sacrificial scout. And I'm getting a bailing test here. So still only one gas doing enough. I'm getting a spine crawler. Trying to inject and uh, getting my speed. And he's getting a factory. Which tells me that he's not going to early push, as you can see. He doesn't have any marines. Barely, he has a few down there. And I actually see them. And I don't want to get my overall killed. And I will not be able to scout. He will be cut off in time. And this is really strange. I'm I'm like, what? what's going on? What, what is he doing? If you see here, I see. This is what I see. I see a lot of um, supply depots. And two barracks. And... Uh, I don't know what's going on, and I'm uh, really, really confused at this time. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm getting expansion. If it's not going to play with me, I don't wanna get more servings. And as you can see, I didn't commit too hard. If you look at the units tab, we are actually same worker count. I'm still trying to poke up here to see anything. But he's doing a good job, and uh, he's actually keeping out his positioning his marines all the way around and I have no idea what's going on I don't know if it's going helions, tanks or any kind of mech play or if it's going air, going with jobs, going with banshees you can do anything and I am totally clueless so what should I do at this time I'm getting a queen that's always good to be able to fend off some kind of banshee harass uh, getting my money run away really really hard as you can see I have a lot of larva 
not enough uh, overlords and uh, this queen is going down here to be able to inject on my expansion getting a second queen here and he's actually pulling away now in um, worker count and he has his mule so this, this is really bad play for me it's really sloppy and still I have no idea I don't and he's only got like one marine on each spot so I should fly in but I'm I think he has more marines than he actually does here because I was prepared for a really big push. I'm, I'm really worried about now, but I, I felt I need an expansion. I cannot spend my money in, in any other way. So I have this small force. Uh, if I, he moves out with a lot of marines, which I'm still thinking he will do. You can see, that is all I see. I'm waiting for them and I have this to be able to morph them into banelings as soon as possible. I'm getting my lair up should inject. And uh, here we go, she will inject, I should transfer some drones down, I should get more drones. Do you have a lot of larvae if you look here? I only got three larvae, but just use these as well. The production, there we go, seven drones in one sitting. And of course I am afraid of banshees, I need to see some, ca have some way to see visibility, so I'm getting some spore crawlers, which of course always is a waste if you don't know. But better safe than sorry if he would have gone in with banshees, cloak banshees, he would be able to kick off almost everything and there would be have would have been nothing I could do about it. And he's getting Thors. He's getting Helions. What's going on here? He's getting the Infernal Pre-Igniter, which is great against Zerglings. Of course, people usually use Banelings and Zerglings against uh, Marines and Thors. And if I have a lot of uh, Zerglings, this Helion will kill them really really fast. I'm getting 14 circles there as you can see, I'm getting my spire up and if sh of course I have a lair, should uh, get one over here, fly in, see what's going on but I'm not like no, he's going marines, he's just gathering his forces but but I am a bit confused and uh, he actually moves out now at a perfect time okay, you would think he would move out now come on, you used to say move out, move out no, he's not moving out, he's just opening the door for me, but I'm not noticing this. These three marines is actually keeping my two overlords at bay, and that is just bad play, really bad play, it's really sloppy. No drone count, just a few drones, we get the units tab, oh, 42, Wh where are these 42 drones? I have no idea, maybe down here everybody. Yeah, that's okay, this is way too few. And I'm like, I'm going for bust. And uh, of course he's moving out when I'm going for the bus, just to be annoying. And uh, we'll see what's going on here. Because I... Pause here, if you check here. I still think he's totally walled in here. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to bust this. And uh, we just mi missed each other here. So he has no defense at all right now. He's getting out of Helion. What am I doing? I'm like, oh, blow it up! And this is a sec my really bad decision, blowing up everything on this barrack. Okay, maybe I can pick it off, but, well, that will not help me. Okay, he, but he cannot reinforce now. That is something that is really, really good, but I have nothing to stop this, this uh, quite kind of huge force. What, what can I... He's getting more Helions. He's cheating. He's a cheater. Probably the war under construction already, of course. I don't really think he's a cheater. I'm like, oh yeah, I can burn. And what I should have done was go in here with my on my Banelings and kill his complete worker line. And now he's moving in. I'm uh, getting my drones over there. This is what I call saturation. Fantastic. And uh, I have no defense at all. I cannot handle this in a good way. I have two few. I don't have enough larva, I've been sloppy with an um, inject, all my queens are dead now, so I cannot inject anymore. And how do you defend against a lot of units when you have none? I will show you. You get some banelings, you blow up all marines, which of course really helps a lot. And if you see here, he, he can now start building stuff again, since I killed a lot of his units, but he has this Helion, which is real annoying. He has three swords and I have no queen, I cannot inject, I have barely no larva, I have one mut mutalist, some few, few circles popping out, I'm going there with my lag and my drones, as you can see my 
Man is quite low as well, I cannot do anything. He's blasting away. And on 34 food against his 50. I have no expansion. I have one mutilist. What will it do against three Thors? I tell you what it will do. It will die. Really, really fast. He's getting my spawning pool as well, so I can't get out in a circle and producing one mute at a time. These will never die. It will take like forever and when they actually die he will have like 84 expansions at least. And going in for the kill here with my drones and then he second set of um, Killions come in, kill me completely. I GG, he GG. There's no reason to no not have a good manner and th that is a huge loss. And this is, as you know, if you've been following me for uh, the last couple of games, the first game I'm casting from um, Ladder since I was promoted to to Diamond. So, and I actually won the two first games today. The first one uh, I played really, really bad, but I was lucky, and he was actually worse than me. Uh, who would have known? Since you can see how I'm playing, but um, the second one was a quite good game against the Terran on um, Steps of War. And I thought, yeah, let's let's end this day with a complete failure. I should, of course, have been scouting. I should have been aware of what this was going. Some banelings and a lot of roaches would have ha would have handled this beautifully. He doesn't have an expansion. If I would have killed these force, he wouldn't be able to do anything. He has a lot of money. He could build an expansion, but uh, yeah. But uh, I need to improve. We'll see how we will do in the future. And that is everything for tonight. And thank you everybody and good night.